Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Well, thank you guys. Uh, I hope you found that uh, informative and uh, interesting. Uh, I think Terry and Rebecca are really an interesting couple, aren't they? And, uh, Terry's a good friend, and we've been working together on some things, and so it was great. So we had John Taffer this morning and Terry this afternoon, so that's good. But uh, he's a great actor, too. He's a very funny guy. Um, what, I, I talked through a commercial break or something? Yeah. Um, did y'all agree with my assessment of this guy here? I, I was just curious. Um, <clears throat> There's more moving parts to that, I get it, but if, if, if you don't get this right, if you don't get him right, you, you can't fix everything else. And I mean, stealing underwear to test for DNA and polygraph, well, I don't believe it, and all of that, I mean, come on. You know, if you put your marriage in a win-lose situation, I always say, if, if, if you're going head to head with your spouse, then there's gonna be a winner and there's gonna be a loser. And do you really wanna make your spouse a loser? No. I mean, think about back in high school, you know, crush the Titans, you know, smash the Cardinals. That's what you think about winning and translate that to your marriage. That's why I say if you get in a, if, if you're having a disagreement, your goal should be to be heard and understood, not agreed with. And across time, that'll work itself out. Just hear me, understand what I think and feel, and then do with that as you will. And if you're compatible across time, you'll find a place there where you can both live with. But if it's you have to agree with me, by God, then you're gonna win and they're gonna lose and that's not good. So you gotta change your objective. And that's, this was not good.